Kolsch Kevlar. always makes me think of like mountains. <laughs> Things like Kolsch? A, Kolsch. Like I'm skiing down a mountaintop. Kolsch, Kolsch, Kolsch. <laughs> I don't know why. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. It doesn't. It doesn't because it's, yeah, it has yeah. everything to do with refreshing cool. and light and right. probably not, you know, and probably being warmer days. And I would Germany think. and Köln. 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 Spelled like Cologne. It is. It's Cologne, Germany. <laughs> or Köln. That's right. It's all of those things. And uh, I know you hate it when I do this, but we have a local beer in a can. Local? What? Is it in Tucson? No, it's not. It is no, in Arizona. I hate it. I've expanded which, my reference. Which is uh, south, you know, it's in Tempe, so it's in southern Arizona. Even Arizona, we should. Because uh, we, we could do a uh, lumber yard. We could get some of those, and that's from Flagstaff. And right. we could consider that local, too. Yeah, well, and the only reason Within I... Within the state. And actually, I specifically mentioned this on one of my <laughs> one of the uh, uh, posts from the last couple of weeks, because I mentioned about it because... There are just so few breweries, specifically in Tucson, yeah. that it's kind of. But it's, it's growing. It is growing. It's good. It's like, but it's not a hotbed where it's like you know if you're in Fort Collins or in Colorado, right. you know, like I said, literally you right. have to say local, and that means twenty feet down the street. Right. Yeah. That's you true. Know, we don't. We don't have that going on. So my definition is expanded. But uh, we've got a beer in a can. We've got something local. Local. And uh, local. What else? We like Four Peaks. Yeah. We have. We ever had a. F- we've had one Four Peaks beer. I think. Okay. On, on the podcast, and it was in the session beer podcast. Oh, oh, that's right. Eric the uh, the Eighth Street. No, yeah, yeah, the Eighth Street the session. Eighth yeah, that was that was good. Eighth and actually, Street, yeah. this one is uh, sessionable as well. Uh, Five point one. Close, Close enough. enough. Close enough. Close Experienced enough. beer drinkers like ourselves, but we're getting ahead. I've already gotten way too far. Way ahead. too far. But way too we're far. We're pulling it back. We're gonna, we're coming back. We're gonna reel it in for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew, and I'm Keith, and we are about beverages dot com, and the beverage that we are about today. Is the Sun Brew uh, Kolsch style ale from Four Peaks, which, as Andrew said, is uh, out of Tempe, Arizona, and um, we're going to give it the sessionable nod. It's five point one. Yeah, that's close enough. Yeah, and uh, you know, different depending on what articles you read, who you talk to, some people will even go above that five percent threshold. But we've always kind of looked at right around that, you know, five uh, under five percent. But yeah, five point one, we'll we'll do close it. enough. We'll do it. So. Close enough. And uh, we were just kind of looking at pricing. Uh, so six pack of this is right around seven. Right around seven uh, at total wine. Um, I got this single at where I work at Trader Joe's. I think we were a little bit more than that. We might be in that seven fifty or eight dollar range okay. or something like that. But uh, but yeah, so so right around right around that price point there. Singles. You can, you can do singles at Total Wine or at uh, Trader Joe's as that's well? That's right. Anything that we carry, you can go in and buy a single. Wow. That's Just very cool, it off too. the shelf, yes. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, which, which, which is what led to me getting this beer. <laughs> I wouldn't have picked it necessarily. Um, I'm not a- anti it, but I wouldn't have picked it. But it was part of a little three-pack of beers that I was able to, to purchase uh, at a greatly reduced price. So, oh. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of random singles, I'm assuming, hanging out in random the bag. Random singles, and this was yeah. in, the, in the bag that I purchased. So. Nice. So, yeah. So, we haven't had it, so we're trying it today. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we don't need the bottle opener for this one. No, we don't. No. We get the, that uh, would just be overkill. That would be, that would be weird. That would be weird. <laughs> Actually, what you pr- could probably work. use is like a uh, like a s- old time soup opener. Yeah, like, you, you know, it's got the little you point. That. You could use that sure. if for some reason you wanted to go Needed that to. route. I don't want to use the tools that have been given. I must use my own. <laughs> must make this harder than it is. Yeah, I can definitely tell already. We're kind of going with a uh, color theme the last couple of weeks. We have, yeah. That, that will change up later in the week. Finally, but uh, yes, yeah, for will. right now. Oh, wow. We've got lighter as it's, it's even gone. got lighter. It's wow. Gone. Oh my wow. gosh. I did not know you could get that is literally the color of straw. Is that, that Budweiser? Is a Sauvignon yellow? Blanc that is a straw. I think Budweiser might even be darker. Wow. Okay. I don't know. That is Probably very not light. by much. They're both pretty close. Huge bubbles too. Not a lot of carbonation. But not a mine, lot. But no, but mine are massive. Yeah. It's like a lava lamp. Massive no, bubbles. Kidding. Yeah. Wow. That sounds like some sort of like side act at a carnival. Come see massive bubbles. <laughs> and the lava lamp. <laughs> and the lava <laughs> lamp. Yeah. Oh, wow. They are kind of, but man, that is, that is, that is, yeah, that is literally straw. I mean, that is, that is that color. Now, I don't know how long this has been around. I couldn't find a date. Well, you just brought it over about an hour ago. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Here. In my fridge. I mean, as far as when it was brewed or when oh, okay. was, if there's a best buy date on that, I don't know. Pack it in, pack it out. See, they're even kind of going for the thought process we've had about these beers. You know, it's for, right. the, for the travel, for the, uh, you know, when you're in the car and you want something. Wait, no, no, no. No, when you're... <laughs> <laughs> we need something to drink on the way. <laughs> you need something to drink on. No, when you actually get to the campsite or right. to a place like that, you've got you know nice something refreshing. It's on ice. It's not as heavy. You've got that. You're you're ready. You're set. 
And we have uh, we have done Kolsch beers and Kolsch style beers in the past at aboutbeverages.com. You can go back and check those out uh, at the website uh, in the archives. Um, but uh, and we do like them. Been, and usually they're yeah. pricey, actually, because one of our favorites. Well, is especially the, the actual Kolsch beer, like right. from, from Germany. Yeah, what's that one? I always forget the name. It had the red label on yeah. it. Yeah, it was quite. You've you've got it written right there. I think there it is. Yeah, I really like that one. That, that was, one was, that very, was, that was that one was quite delicious. Yeah. that one was the one that was like eleven ounces, and it was almost four dollars a bottle. Right, it was kind of, quite pricey. You know, so it was quite pricey for a refreshing beer. It's that like, was like the first time I bought a four pack, and I was like, whoa. I mean, I've done it since then <laughs> and, and, and spent that kind of money. But yeah, that was like the first time I, I sort of... In fact, actually at that time, I just bought the single. You did. And then later right. I realized... But even still, I was like, whoa. <laughs> so, whoa. Actually, that's re- referencing back to the Family Ties I watched last night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He stole four and a half million dollars. What did Uncle Ned do? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's funny, actually. He's hilarious in that show. <laughs> whoa. Uh, <okay. laughs> Who'd have thought I'd get into Family Ties reference? That worked out naturally. Oh, he's good. Classic grape Kolsch, not as strong as I'd like it to be. A little uh, bit of I, I like a little more of that aroma. Usually and a to little come of through. the mineral in there, too. A little bit of that. Kind of at the end. There's yeah. a little bit after, yeah. after you get the sweet kind of grape yeah. coming through. Yeah, there's a little yeah. something else back there. Yeah. yeah, I usually like a little more of that grape, really, to kind of come through that sweetness, that grape Sorry, kind of sweetness. Too, no, so. it's all right. No, Sorry, I just I realized I had one more quick thought. That's okay. That's good. But there's that other note in there that I forget about sometimes. That sort of that sweetness, actually. There's like a honey, yeah, um, or agave or something. Yeah, there's kind of that. Yeah, other. It's it's not a. Layer. It's not a. It's not just a sugar sweetness. It's more right. of like some. It's more of a layered, textured kind of. Yeah. Something. That's in there. I get a little more of that Kolsch grape in the flavor than I did in the aroma, which which is a good thing. Yeah. That kind of nice. Uh, Sweetness. I think it's. Uh, I think it's a little on the lighter side, even for a Kolsch. And yeah, col- Kolsch's are light to begin with. You yeah. Know, so you're kind of splitting hairs, I guess, a little bit. But it's a little on that. Uh, it's a little bit lighter. Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, uh, that's a drink it cold, warm weather type beer yeah. right there. Yeah, definitely. But nothing inherently bad about it. Just like you said, a lighter. Maybe for if you could price. possibly get a lighter Kolsch, yeah, <laughs> that's what they've done. It's yeah, I mean it's it's yeah, very light, little a little light sour. That like I said, that grape kind of sweetness is in there. There's some sort of yeah mineral, not quite metallic, but there is something yeah. in there, and it's not because it's in a can. There's no. some of there that's you know it's not what we mean. There's a little something else in there too, and then it pretty much is gone. Did I you? Mean, ma- there is a little sour. Did you mention the sour? I did. There's yeah, a okay. little bit. Yeah, a little bit of sour. Bit. Yeah. yeah, that almost hits just before the grape note. Like you kind of get the sour in the middle yeah. of your tongue, then you get the you know kind of sweet. Yeah. A little bit, or you know, at least kind of how the flavors are triggered. But yeah, it's not. I mean, it's it's okay. I don't. That's not one I'm going to rush out for. No. Um, like I said, usually because that's. I mean, it's a style I do. I do like. I appreciate, but it's not one I'm usually gravitate toward just because of right. not only price, but then there's usually not a lot of flavor going on there. And this one is even a little bit less, but as so. always, it's good to have the, you know, where it's just another one to add to the list of things that we've tried. And, Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. And, and add, that might add be to the day to base. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if you, if you've had cultures in the past and said, man, those things are too strong. They are way too heavy way for too me. Too heavy for you. This might be your, this might be a good option. Your for it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this might be a good option. Excuse me, you have a, a Kolsch light? <laughs> Do you have a light cold? <laughs> That's somewhat redundant, but uh, <laughs> this, I guess, could be the one. The Department of Redundancy Department? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But what we hope uh, is not redundant. And even if it is, make it redundant. Although we have had some redundancy when we've tried beers twice in the past. But that's at aboutbeverages.com where you can find uh, all of these things, including the uh, tasting notes for this Beer from Four Peaks. I almost forgot the name of the <laughs> Sunbrew. <laughs> yeah, it was like Sunbrew. Okay. I keep wanting to go Sundown. Sunbrew. Yeah. Or is it Sunbra? Sunbra. <laughs> Sunbra. Sunbra. Yeah. Sunbra. It's Sunbra. Sunbra. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were going for. They want people to say it like that. Sunbra. It could be. We'll have to find out. Maybe they could let us know if they happen to yeah. uh, 
watch this video or something like that, and then they'll tell us that they meant to make a lighter kolsch. And <laughs> That's we should, right. We shouldn't be so hard on them. <laughs> oh, we were man. going for just a step up. Two steps above Budweiser and one step below normal cold. <laughs> That's where they went. <laughs> They're like, you can have not to the left of here and not to the right, but yeah. below Just this, this general and above area. this. And yeah. It's been a good couple of weeks for jerk references as it's well. It's a profit deal. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a funny <laughs> game. Oh, man. And, and where you can find all this other good nature, too, is on uh, Twitter. That's where we uh, are usually throwing out some uh, articles and other random things. things. That we like, yeah. Yeah, Untapped is also a good uh, source of whatever other beers... Uh, maybe even in the Kolsch family that we might be trying throughout the week. And uh, you're, you're a big fan of the Drink Database. You, I am. Uh, I should be better about it, but you like, uh, I did. You like throwing things out there. In fact, you had something recently that you couldn't even finish. I had to throw it down, you, actually. Well, just, I mean, you, you know should what? mention it. You it should, wasn't, should. but but see, that's the way I am. If, I, if I'm not, I mean... You don't need to justify this at all. This. Did you, you didn't like it, so... I was not enjoying it. It was not like... Horrible. It wasn't like. Well, uh, if you if well, you didn't okay, finish, let me say this. D- quit quit backtracking. I was not enjoying it. You didn't. It like was it. not alcohol that I wished to put into my body. And in you have that no one form, else in your in family that's going to drink it either. So I dumped it. And it, what was it? It was the Preservation Ale from Marin Brewing Company. So which is sad too because we've liked that other was the things first from one Marin we have. And, and it's not going to stop me from trying their other no. beers. But that was the I've first seen, one. I've seen that one. That's got the the bird on the front yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Now, is that a IPA or just a pale ale? Said, or? It just said ale. Okay. And it didn't really have a lot of descriptors about it. It just said, you know, it, it went into a lot of detail about how, you know, the the the, the um, proceeds from these from this beer was going to go into helping nature and why, and that's great. So that's you felt all, good about that? I, I did. Well, and that's so probably why that's they didn't right. want to put on the label that you'll pitch it as soon as you'll you drink it. But thank you for you, your yeah. donation. It just it had it was like drinking nothing and then a little bit of nondescript something and then it was nothing again and i was like yeah no i i just i didn't <laughs> that care is for the, it. and these are the kind of tasting notes you can find in the I, database yeah, I can't nothing into something I, into nothing <laughs> in, into nothing again but it wasn't much of really like i said anything it just definitely was not for me so i was like nope dump it move on to the next beer so. yeah because if you're gonna put we're putting poison in our body toxic make things. sure it tastes make sure it tastes good that's yeah, the one thing it. that we can uh if you leave with nothing else from these podcasts is that we want to love we want to love whatever we try We'd love to try it, and we and the tasting. It's got to taste good, right? So it doesn't taste good. I don't. Right. Want, I don't there want was to, no value in that. I don't for want to drink so. it. Yeah, that's right. And like I said, Marin Brewing Company. If you are watching this or following us, it certainly is. It was just that one particular thing because overall, we've enjoyed t- to oh, different definitely. degrees. We've enjoyed everything that we've tried that yeah uh, of your beers, but just for some reason that one. Maybe I had a bad one. We we'll always have to say that. Um, I don't. I, you know, I can't. I, I think I looked for a date, and either couldn't find one, or it was safely within the the realm. So, because that was definitely something I would take into consideration. But maybe I just got a bad bottle, or maybe that's that style isn't mine. But yeah, I, I, yeah, that was not for me. Not for you. Yes. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. Just not the preservation ale. Just not that. Just not that. <laughs> <laughs>